Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. So we're getting ready to build a 30 by 60 equipment barn here, but we've got all this road millings that we just kind of built this little parking pad with, but they're kind of in the way. So what I'm gonna do is a couple things. First of all, we need a little bit more down by the driveway and I've got my dump trailer here. And the only problem with it is it has barn doors on it. So when you go to dump it, it's just gonna dump it in a pile. But what I did was built this little tailgate out of two by sixes. It's got a four inch gap here. And so we're gonna try and spread this uh, millings out on the driveway and hopefully get a, a fairly even spread on this. So this just held on with C-clamps and I thought it was pretty innovative. So we'll see if that works, I have no idea if it will or not. And then the rest of this, we'll just take over here with the T250 and stockpile this material uh, over here behind the barn until our new building is built. And then we can better decide what we're gonna do with this. And then of course, we've got the case 450C that we'll use to clean any of this up and uh, get it all level and get ready for this new building to come in. Okay, so we use the T250 to get a wagon load of that and go spread it on the driveway. Okay, well that's not working as well as I thought it would. And a lot is those tracks are fairly worn and it's very muddy down there. What I'm gonna try and do is stay up on this milling where I'll have better traction and just try and scoop like an inch of it at a time and get it in there. So we'll try that out. If not, we'll go another route. Uh, I have a smooth bucket and a tooth bucket would probably work better.
Well, we'll take this around and dump it and see what we can come up with. All right, so here we are with our homemade spreading tailgate, and we'll dump this and see how it goes. Okay, so it didn't work as good as we thought because it has these giant chunks. But we'll bring the bobcat down here and smooth all this out. Okay, so we finally got everything out of the bed. Uh, that idea on this tailgate is gonna work really well for gravel, or if this thing didn't have chunks in it, but those chunks, a lot of them were bigger than four inches and they blocked up. We also had a little bit of blockage on the sides, but that was the only way we could figure that we would for sure have this tailgate not slide down beyond four inches. So I like the design and I think it's gonna work good on gravel, but now I'm gonna bring Bobcat out here and spread this, these millings out a little bit. So we put the controller, this is a nice thing with this trailer, it's got a really long cord on the controller, so I had it right up here on the fender and could raise and lower whenever I needed to. All right, so this little dump trailer is gonna work great for this driveway maintenance but our millings are not as good as the gravel. <laughs> it's a beautiful day in February. It's about 55 degrees out here, and it feels like spring. All the frogs and birds and stuff in that pond seem to think so too. Okay, well, I'm really happy with the way this uh, kind of jury rig tailgate work to spread that. Uh, other than the fact that that stuff had big clumps in it, but just some uh, four 8 inch C clamps and a couple of 2 by 6s and that worked really well. So we'll save that for when we go to spread gravel on that driveway later this summer. Okay, the rest of this material I'm going to stockpile right over here. I think this will be the least in the way. And then also it won't be killing any grass or anything that we've got going. So my smooth bucket started scooping this up fairly well. There the last couple scoops. And in fact, that last scoop was uh, an absolute full scoop. So that was pretty good. But I've got a tooth bucket for my tractor. And I think I'm gonna switch that out for this smooth bucket and see if that tooth bucket picks this up any faster. 
it's a smaller bucket so it won't hold as much but i think it might dig through this uh these millings that have been here for about three years now a little better Okay, so I've got my tooth bucket on, and you can see it's not quite as wide as it ought to be for this machine, but this I bought for my tractor uh, several years ago and stuff, and I wouldn't be opposed to buying a tooth bucket for my Bobcat, uh, but that bucket right here was about $1,000 when I bought it. I don't know what those things cost now, but I bet they're pretty expensive. All right, well, that's an awful lot of that push back, and I've got quite the pile over here. So there's a little more work to be done. I've got to run out to the end of the driveway and smooth that out that I've dumped out there. And that tooth bucket's working really well, along with the Bobcat T250. All righty, well, here is our pile of millings, and we've got this stockpile. This is probably at least two triaxle loads of millings, and this is gonna work out really well, so we'll be able to use this material later exactly where we need it. And if you liked the video, drop a like for us, please. And 
We encourage you to subscribe to see more. This is going to be a big project, and probably this is the first of many videos on it. Have a great day, and be safe.